Welcome to Nursing School Explain in this video on how to assess the posterior tibialis pulse, which is a pulse site that a lot of students usually have trouble finding. So if we look at the anatomy, if you could turn your foot out just a little bit, we have the medial malleolus, the ankle bone right here, and the tibia, which is the shin bone, connects right here. So this is actually the bottom part of that tibia where it connects to the foot. And because the pulse is called the posterior tibialis, guess where you're going to find it? Behind the tibia. So now we have this malleolus right here and the pulse is going to run somewhere behind this bone here. Again, every patient is a little bit different, just um, depends on, 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 on each patient. But the easiest way to do it, again, the artery runs like this. So we want to use our index and middle finger to line it up exactly with the length of the artery. And so the easiest way is to find that bone and then march behind the bone where it starts to be a little bit softer and many times the pulse is located right behind there. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to actually like wrap my fingers behind the bone and see if I can detect his posterior tibialis pulse. And this one is a little tricky to find, like I said, in most patients. But there it is. And don't be afraid, as you can see, I'm kind of, hub can you turn your ankle a little bit more the other way? I kind of have my fingers, um, the last part of my knuckles here, turned over a little bit so I can kind of wrap it behind the medial malleolus here and I found the pulse. And remember, just like with radio and pedal pulse assessments, don't press down too hard or you might occlude the artery. Um, but if you don't press down hard enough, you might not be able to find it. And in this case, we also, we could count it for 15, multiply by 4, or count it for 30 seconds, multiply by 2, which many times in the lower extremities, we don't really do that to assess the pulse, but we could also check and compare it to his right side, which I would do at the same time, and then compare the pulses in amplitude and strength and rate. Thank you for watching this video on assessing the posterior tibialis pulse. Also check out the other videos about the other pulse site assessment. Thanks for watching.